what up this your boy boss welcome back to the channel as always i appreciate y'all coming through kicking with your boy man and just checking out the videos because you know the grind don't stop and we is back with another video for you guys so in today's video we actually going to be unboxing a new shipment of fish that i just got in the mail Woo, ain't nothing like getting new fish man it's just the best feeling in the world when you got some new fish coming right but today we're going to be unboxing these new fish the majority of them will be able to go to the pond in the future one that might be able to go to the pond right away once I get him out the bag and see how big he really is, we'll be able to see if he can go straight into the pond. So super excited about that. Let's not waste any time. Let's get into this video, get into this unboxing and get these fish out of here. All right, so I got my little unboxing station together. And in this box, we got some dope exotic fish, man. Super excited about these guys. These actually came from a company called Wild Aquatics. I'm going to be leaving all the information down below in the comment section and the description if you guys want to purchase any of the fish that you see in this video or if you just want to check their website out and see what they got um shout out to them for sending me these fish man i really appreciate it they even sent some little stickers and stuff i'll put one up on the tank or something like that for them but yeah they sent me these exotic fish and look like they got it nice and packed real good look like we got some nice insulation in there keep it the temperature where it needs to be let me see Whew. I don't know which one to show y'all first. We'll start with the smallest one and then we'll work our way up. Let me move this out the way real quick. All right, so the first fish we got right here, super dope little fish. Um, never seen one in person, but these is called a metallic Oscar. And you really can't see them because it's like a nice little fog in the bag from the being inside the box but i'm sure once i get him into the aquarium he's going to color up and maybe i'll pop a picture or something so you guys can see what they look like um but we got us a metallic oscar really can't see him right now but you guys will see him here in a second once i get him into the aquarium super dope little fish now this dude right here i don't know why he sent me this fish um but you know i just thought like hey man i'll get it and then maybe i can donate it to my homie mr feed the fish or you know give it away to one of you guys we'll see how that works out but this is a short body red tail catfish look at this little dude he's probably about i give him about three inches he's pretty cute i'm not even gonna lie pretty cute little fish and i know these guys don't get as big as like you know regular red tails but i'm sure they still get fat and stubby man so he sent me this guy and I don't know why he sent me a red tail since I already got a red tail, but I'm not going to turn the fish down. Like I said, I can always donate it to my homie, Mr. Feed the Fish, or I could donate it to one of you guys. We'll see. But yeah, super dope little fish, super excited and happy about him. Now, this last fish, this is what he was originally supposed to send me. And then he, the other two, he kind of just threw into the deal. But this dude right here, he is big, man. He's already a decent size, and I should be able to put him into the pond. You guys can let me know if you think he can fit into the pond. But we got us a black arowana. And you can see how big he is in the bag already. I love the black arowana because they got, like, that nice tail on them. They got that black on their tail, and then they get, like, this little orange fins. But as they get bigger, they kind of lose the black, and they kind of look more like a regular silver arowana as they get bigger. But this dude is super dope man look at that fish super dope arrow man if you guys remember i had a nice big silver arrow one that passed on me so it's dope to get another arrow we got a jardini now we got a nice big arrow and this guy look like he's at least a foot so i should be able to put him into the pond uh, i might not put him into the pond today um once i get him to the aquarium and see how he does if he does all right he's eating good then i'll transfer him over into the pond in a later video but we got us a dope arowana man super excited i've been wanting to buy one of these but these things run about 180 bucks almost 200 dollars depending on who you get them from so shout out him shout out to him for sending me these fish super dope and i can't complain man so you guys can let me know in the comment section did we take a w on this pickup today i'm going to get these guys acclimated into the aquarium because they've been in shipment for quite some time and let me do what's right by the fish and then i'll come back and i'll show you guys once they're in the aquarium all right, guys, so we finally got the fish into the aquarium. And as you see, look at that black arrow just looking beautiful in there, man. Him and the Giardini just kind of swimming about together. I thought maybe the Giardini would be a kind of a bully, but this arrow was way bigger than him. As you can see by the size comparison, the arrows probably I would give him almost a foot. Definitely going to be putting him into the pond probably in the next few days or so, maybe a week. We'll see how he does. Make sure he's eating good and healthy, and then we'll transfer him over to the pond so he can really 
grow and start to get big. See our little Giardini. He's enjoying the company. Not all skittish like he normally be, so which is a good thing. Looking good. Got a little short body red tail down here. Cute little fish. Not even gonna cap. Cute little short body red tail. Never seen one in person. I've seen him online and stuff, but I've never seen one in person. So I'm really kind of curious to grow him out for a little bit. And then we'll see what we do with him. Like I said, I might donate him to my homie or to one of you guys. We'll see how that play out. But we got our metallic Oscar. Now this guy is very unique. Never seen an Oscar that looked like that before. You guys can let me know in the comment section, have you had one or seen one of these? But got some really awesome patterns and some color on here. I'm really curious to see what he turns into and how he grows over time. Hope it's a little boy though. And I hope he's not mean and nasty. <laughs> but you can see all the patterns and colors on him. This is a very beautiful, unique fish. And all these guys are going to pretty much hang out in this tank for the next uh, probably week or so. And then I'll probably upgrade everybody to bigger enclosures. Just this tank, I'm able to like really pay attention to them, feed them, make sure they're getting their food and doing well. But you can see everybody is swimming. Looking good. Y'all need to leave me some names in the comment section. What should we should name these fish? We got Torpedo, the Giardini. Now we need a name for this Arowana, which is really healthy. No drop eye. Just a beautiful specimen, man. So happy to get another Arowana since I lost my last one. We need a name for the Oscar. I'm curious to see what you guys come up with for this guy. Excuse all the water spots on my glass, but it is what it is. But as you can see, the water is crystal clear. And we need a name for the short body red tail. Just a beautiful little fish. So yeah, I'm gonna feed these guys tonight and see how they do as far as eating. The guy said that he was feeding them a lot of pellets and different things, so hopefully I can get them to eat right away. Um, just like I did the Giardini, and we can start putting on some size on these guys, get them nice and fat and transfer them to bigger aquariums move this arrow to the pond i can't wait to see him swim up in there he's going to look like a true dragon for real beautiful black arowana and our giardini of course been doing really good but yeah, let me know in the comment section. Like I said, if you took a W on this pickup today, I think these are some awesome selection of fish for the fish room. Kind of like more on an exotic, unique type. You know, so you don't see a lot of black arrows. You don't see a lot of metallic Oscars. And you don't see a lot of short body red tails. So I think this is a major W for us in the fish room. And you guys can let me know. But that's going to be pretty much it for today's content. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Y'all can let me know in the comment section what we should name these fish. Um, we got some more mascots in the fish room, some more dream fish. Um, every fish is my dream fish. If I couldn't afford the fish when I was a kid and I can get it now as a grown man, it's a dream fish to me. Um, there were so many fish as a kid I just couldn't afford to get. You know, we didn't have a lot of money growing up and things like that. So um, I appreciate all the support. I'm going to keep dropping video after video. We got some more pond content coming here soon. I'll probably start working on the 470 gallon here soon. So, you know, the grind don't stop with me. I'm going to keep posting. It's a new month and we got some more videos coming for you guys. So leave some comments down below. Let me know that we take a W and give me some names for those fish because we got some more mascots in the pond. And that's pretty much it, man. I'm out of here. I'll catch you guys in the next one.